Hi, Garahan here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a UI button in Interface Builder. And uh, when you click on the button, it's going to change the text in the UI label. Uh, this is the basic Hello World example for the iPhone. All right, so let's open up Xcode. And we're going to create a new Xcode project. We want to create a view-based application. Make sure your product is set to iPhone. Choose that. And I'm going to call my project Hello World. All right. Now, for this example, um, most of the code, actually all the code, is going to take place in your Hello World view controller the header file and the .m file. Let's start in the .h file, delete these comments, and we are going to add a IB outlet, type IB UI label, and we want to call this my label. And you can call it whatever you want, but for this example, we're going to call it my label. Now do properties, non-atomic, retain. And then you can actually just copy this line and paste it after the retain. We also want to add the action. This is this will uh, catch the event when the user clicks the button that we make. So do slash IB action. And we're going to call our action function clicked ID sender. OK, so clicked is the name of our function. And we want to copy this and then paste it in our .m file. Right underneath implementation, you can paste IB action and add the curly brackets here. Uh, underneath implementation, we want to synthesize my label that'll make my label accessible to uh, Xcode it'll add the getters and setters uh, now we can set my label dot text equals at sign and hello world so and that's all the code we need now if we go to the resources I want to open up Hello World View Controller XIB. And this is going to open up Interface Builder. And we can start working on our interface. Now, if you don't see the view or if one of the palettes, you should have your library palette. This is your view and the view attributes. If something's missing, they might be behind other windows. You can do bring all to front and that'll pop it out in front. Uh, but we want to grab a button and a label from our library. So make sure you're on objects. And you scroll down to the Cocoa Touch items, or I'm sorry, the yeah, the Cocoa Touch input values. Uh, we want to grab a rounded rec button and drag that onto the stage. I'm going to call my, I'm going to just say, click me, and I'm going to make it nice and big. Remember, we're designing these for fingers, not mouses, so it's got to be easy to click on. And then I'm going to drag a label onto the stage. So now we have our, our elements in place, but we have to connect it to the code. So you want, you want to click on Files Owner, right click on that, and you'll get this Files Owner palette. You'll see My Label and Clicked. The, the My Label outlet, we want to drag that to Label. And then the Received Actions, we have Clicked. We want to drag that onto the button, and then we we'll do Touched Up Inside. That'll fire the event when someone touches up on it. So they click down and then the moment they touch up, if they're still inside the button, it'll click. Uh, now we have those linked up and we're going to save it. File save and then quit interface builder. At this point, let's do a build and run and see if it works. This is the iPhone simulator. Click me, and there it is, hello world. So when we clicked it, changed the text. Well, the one other thing we need to add is you have to release, and we have to remove my label from memory. My label release.
and build and run. And there you go. Hello world.